Hey, what's up, guys? John Cochran here, and today is System Saturday, the day that I bring you a system that I use inside of my business that you can rip off, duplicate, use right into your own local market. Now, we've got a very, very powerful System Saturday live session uh, headed your way right now because what we're going to talk all about is wholesaling, and we're going to talk about the six different systems for selling all of your wholesale deals very, very quickly, okay? Very powerful. So um, the first thing that I wanna start off with in today's live show is I wanna start off with how your 2018 is going. So, you know, you now's the time to sit back and reflect on this month. I mean, now we're towards the end of, of January. Now's the time to where you need to sit back and reflect because this is the year that you need to get to that next level. This is the year that, you know, you, you're, you're going out there and you're doing bigger things than what you did in 2017. We never want to stay the same. We always want to keep growing every single year into our real estate investing business. Now, you have to take a look back at your entire 2017 and how did that chapter end or how did that book end? And then you need to look at your 2018 book and how did that book start? How did that book start? Did, is it off to a good start? Is it off to a bad start? How many motivated sellers did you bring in this month in January? How many deals did you put under contract? How many, how, how many more opportunities do you have inside of your business in this month of January? You need to take a look back. And are you on track for the goals that you set at the very beginning of January 2018? Are you on track for all those goals? Because if you're not, well, now's the time to where what you need to do is you need to sit there and really, really course correct. You need to change your path. You need to change what you're doing and you need to do it immediately because we don't need to sit back and we don't need to flip through all the pages of 2018 and read the chapter of December. And you're just sitting there like, oh, geez, I didn't hit my goals. I didn't do what I was supposed to do in 2018. I didn't do that stuff. So you need to go out there and course correct right now. You need to look at your business and make sure that you are hitting your goals every single week, every single day, every single month so that you can make sure that your whole year hits, that your whole year hits, okay? So why don't you guys go and comment down below and let me know and just, uh, are you hitting your goals for 2018? Are you hitting your goals, yes or no? It's okay to say no. It's okay to say no because the only reason that I'm here live doing this right now is to make sure that you are hitting your goals. That's it. I'm just here to get you to profit on deals. That's it, period. I'm here to supply the systems. I'm here to show you the different ways that you can make money in real estate. I'm here to show you the easier and the better way to make your 2018 hit. And maybe we need to course correct a little bit. So you need to go back and you need to reflect on where your business is at right now so that we can make sure that this thing hits. So what we're going to talk about today is the six selling systems to sell all of your wholesaling deals, okay? How do you do this the right way? How do you do this the legal way? How do you do all of this stuff? Then we're going to show you how you can become a certified legal wholesaler right into your market and just take where you're at right now and absolutely blow it up. If you guys want to blow up your business, go out there and like this right now. Show me that you want to blow up your business in 2018. OK, so what I want to do is I want to start with what wholesaling is for those on the line that might not be as familiar with wholesaling, because we have a lot newer people that are onto the line and and people watch this as a replay, watch the show as a replay. Well, what is wholesaling? Wholesaling is very simple. Wholesaling is the process of uh, finding a property at a discount and then putting that property under contract. And then what you do is you sell that contract to another investor or another person. That's wholesaling. So an example of a wholesale deal would be very simply this. You find a house at a discount, 
you put it under contract for $100,000, okay? You mark it, and then you find a cash or an, uh, an investor buyer, and you sell your contract for $110,000, okay? So that investor, cash buyer, what they do is they buy that property for $110,000. They step into your shoes. They assume the rights, the responsibility, everything of your contract. They, they, they go into your contract, and then what they do is they say, you know what, I want to buy that for $110,000, and then you profit the difference, $10,000 in that case. Okay, so that is a wholesale deal, is going out there and finding a property, a great deal that is under valued and you put it under contract for $100,000, you market to that investor cash buyer and you sell that contract for $110,000 and then that investor cash buyer they buy that property for 110 grand and then you profit right there into the middle that in this case $10,000. That is a wholesale deal. That is what we're talking about. Now, this does not mean Okay, this does not mean that you should just go out and start putting a bunch of properties under contract to see what sticks. That does not mean this. Okay, you cannot just go out there and I want you to listen to me and I want you to watch me on this. You do not want to go out there and be that investor that goes and puts properties under contract and you don't perform on that contract. You don't want to be that investor that goes and puts $10, $10 down as earnest money when that's really you're not really being earnest with that seller. You don't want to be that guy. Okay, you don't want to be that real estate investor because what's going to happen is, is that if you start putting a bunch of properties under contract and you don't close on those, uh, on those deals and you don't perform, those sellers are going to be obviously very, very irritated at you. What's going to happen is they're going to start, you know, bad mouthing you and then they're going to start throwing you over to the division of real estate and everything else. They're going to open up a case on you and it's just going to be absolutely horrible. So don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. Okay, you never want to be that particular guy. Now, there is two different ways, okay, there's two different ways that you can wholesale real estate legally, okay? Two different ways that you can do this. And I'm gonna explain these two different ways to you right now. So the first way is the assignment. I, I kind of just explained to you this, this assignment. But the first way to wholesale real estate is the assignment. Now, this is when you find a home at a discount, you put it under contract with the seller, you then assign your contract to another investor or another person at a higher amount who's willing to step into your shoes, assume the rights and the responsibility of the contract that you entered into, okay? So an example would be this. You find a house, you put it under contract for $50,000. You assign your contract to another investor willing to pay you $55,000. They're willing to step into your shoes. They're willing to step into that contract, assuming the rights, the responsibilities, and everything of that contract that you entered into, and they want to buy that for a higher amount, and let's just say that it's $55,000. What happens is the investor or your buyer that closes on that property for $55,000, and then what you do is you receive a $5,000 assignment fee. Now, there's three different ways that you can receive an assignment fee, okay? You can receive your assignment fee up front, before the house even closes, you can receive your assignment fee at the actual closing when your buyer closes on the property. And then the third way that you can actually assign a property is you can take a little bit of money up front now, okay, before this property closes, and you can also get equity into the property. So there's three different ways to assign, and you as a real estate investor should be using all three of those methods. So what we do is we make anywhere between $2,500 and $8,000 on every single assignment fee that we do. So these are our smaller profit deals, okay? Now, you're going to want to go out there and you're going to want to assign all of your smaller profit deals like the example that I just gave above. However, I want to be very, very clear on this. You do not, let me repeat this, you do not underline, bold, whatever you want to call it, just assign every single one of your deals. Because if you're going out there in marketing, okay, if you're marketing direct mail, if you're marketing bandit signs, if you're marketing different ways that you are buying properties, looking for motivated sellers, sellers that need to sell their property very, very quickly, if you are marketing that way, guess what you better do? You better buy houses as well. And by, by going out there and just assigning deals, you are not buying houses. Your buyers are buying houses, but if you're advertising to buy houses, you better be buying houses, okay? So you can assign, 
okay, which what I just talked about, you can't assign. At the same time, the second way to wholesale real estate, the legal way, is to double close your deals. Now, a double close is very simple. You find a home at a discount. You put it under contract with the seller, okay? You close on that property. You take title. You go out there and you fund that particular deal. And then what you do is you might already have your buyer lined up, but what you do is you promptly resell that house to another buyer for a higher amount. I love double closings. I absolutely love these things. Now, these are also very, very quick deals, just like the assignment, very quick deals. You can do what's called a back-to-back -back closing and double close uh, within a couple of hours of you buying this property, or it could be a couple of days. It could be 30 days of you taking title and buying this property. Now, here's what you need to know on these double closes, okay? When you go out there and you double close onto a property, and let's say that you have a closing today and you're going to double close on this property, and let's say that you do not already have your end buyer. That's fine. That's fine. So you go out and you double close on this thing. When you close on this property today, what's going to happen is, is you now own that property. You signed the paperwork. You funded this deal. You now own this property. Okay. Well, what's going to happen is, is that title, the title company or the closing attorney, they're going to take those documents that you signed, and then they're going to go record those with your county. Okay. So they're going to record those with your county. Now, this is not an instant process. It's a process that's going to take about two weeks on average, okay? So it's going to take about two weeks on average to get this thing closed. Now, the reason that you, there's a couple of reasons why you want to double close particular deals, okay? So you might want to double close because you got a very, very fat profit involved, okay? You might have a very, very fat profit involved, and you might go out there and buy a property for 100000 and then go out there and sell this thing for 150000 well, there's no end buyer in their right mind that's going to be okay with you go out and make a $50,000 deal, $50,000 profit on a deal that they think that you didn't do anything on. So they're going to say, no, I don't want to buy that property. So you might want to go out and double close a deal like that because on the assignment, you can't hide that. So you can't hide that. But on the double close, you can. So you buy that property and then you own that property. Well, then you sell that property. And before it changes and it gets recorded with the county, nobody knows that what you actually paid for this thing. Nobody has a clue what you paid for this thing until that gets recorded. By that time, you should be out of that deal and it doesn't matter. And see, I love that anyways. And the reason that I love it is because your end buyer, they should be buying that property anyways with numbers that make sense to them right? They should be buying that property on the numbers that make sense to them. So when they don't know what you bought that property for, they're giving you a real value of what they truly want to pay for this thing. Okay. Now, if they see that you bought it for a hundred and then they go out there and see that you, uh, you know, are trying to sell it for 150, well, then they might balk. They're going to balk because they're going to think that that is just way too much money to do, but they can't do that within that short window of the double close of, of making that uh, higher profits. Now, it's very, very simple that on these uh, double close deals that there's a system behind this. Now, the system is, is, is you want to double close all of your fatter deals, okay? So you want to double close all of your fatter deals. So what we do is we make anywhere between $8,000 and $25,000 plus on every single double closing wholesale deal that we do. So if you're in California or if you're in a, high, like a place like New York or whatever, your double closing deals should be a lot north of $25,000, eight to $25,000. Your, your, your double close fee, your double close profit should be anywhere between twenty dollars to $50,000 on average in, in areas that, that your average price is higher than $250,000, $300,000, okay? So you want to assign your smaller deals, okay? You want to double close your bigger deals. And here's what you need to know. Here's what you need to know is that on every single deal that you do, you can either assign that deal or you can double close that deal. It, do, it doesn't matter. You can double close or assign every single deal that you ever do, but you got to do both of those methods. And remember, you do not want to be that real estate investor that goes out and you start putting properties under contract. Oh my gosh, I can't find my end buyer. So I'm going to bail on my seller and then be that guy where that seller gets mad and then they end up 
looking at you and start, you know, you know, calling all you all these names and then sending you to the division of real estate and all this other stuff that you just don't want those problems. So if you put a when you put a property under contract, due diligence is one of the the, the most important things that you could do because you need to make sure that you're putting great properties under contract. And even if you can't assign it, that you're going out and you're double closing that deal or that you're going to change your, your, your focus up and now you're going to rehab this deal. You should be performing on every single contract that you guys have. Every single contract that you guys have, you should be performing on every single one of those deals. Okay. So we talked about what wholesaling is. We talked about the two different ways that you can legally wholesale deals, which is the assignment and the double close. Now, what I want to talk about today is I want to show you how to sell these properties. Okay. I want to give you six selling systems to sell all of your wholesaling deals. And I want to show you how to do this. Okay. It's very, very clear, very, very easy. I want to show you the six different methods that we use when we are uh, going out there and, and, and selling all of our wholesale deals, okay? So with that said, I'm gonna take you to a document that I may or may not give you. It depends on if you comment. It depends on if you like this video. It depends on if, I guess I like you, I guess. I, I don't know. Uh, but I'm gonna show you guys a document that again, I may or may not give away. It just depends. And this is what we call a swipe file. Okay, this is what we call a swipe file. Every single time that we uh, put a, a wholesale deal under contract, okay, we go to this particular Word document. We go to this Word document and we grab all of the marketing directly from here and we just basically just copy and paste and, and we use all of these for every single property that we do. Okay, this is what we call our selling swipe file whenever we own a property, okay? So the first thing that we do when we're selling these properties is actually, well, let's just cut this live off. I don't think they even want to do this stuff. I don't think that they even want this. Alicia, do you think that they want it? I don't know how bad they want it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you. It's, it's been, a great, uh, been a great live. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Wouldn't that suck, though? Wouldn't that suck? It's like, oh, my gosh, Johnny C is getting ready to give me a great killer system to sell all of my deals. They're crying? No. -uh. Are they kicking their feet too? They're, they're sucking their thumb? I get it. I, I do the same thing. Okay, so the very first thing that we do when we are um, wholesaling deals is we got to write a great property description. See, most people, you know, they'll say, well, you got to get these guys into the door, so you got to take good pictures. Well, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to argue that case, and I'm going to say in order for them to even be able to look at those pictures, they need to be able to have a great property description, okay? So that's the first thing that we do is, is we write a great, compelling property description on every single wholesale deal that we own. OK, now we have four different examples and, 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 and very, very quickly, all we do is these are written in a way to where it gets all of our buyers very, very. Am I allowed to say hot and bothered? Hot and bothered. It gets all of our buyers very hot and bothered about going out there and and wanting that deal that we have. And that's, that's okay. That's exactly what we're looking for. Okay. So we just, you know, I'll, I'll give you an example. Attention investors, fantastic four bedroom, two bath home. And if it's a three bed, two bath or a three, one or two, one or whatever, we just change this up. Great neighborhood in, and then we just merge in our details right here. Price that however much off retail this thing is. Okay. This home does need some work and, uh, uh, on a great, um, and on a great and a great deal, no matter how you look at this thing, shows extremely well price to sell in seven days or less. So we use these different four property descriptions on every single deal that we do. OK, and we just change those descriptions up a little bit to where it makes sense for every single deal that we do. Now, keeping in mind, we did over 200 deals last year. So we do this on all of those deals. OK, now. The second thing that we do when we sell properties is we do a Facebook post. And what we do is we mark this as a, what we call a housing alert, okay? So we'll put this as a housing alert on Facebook. And then again, we just do our merge fields very simply. And there's four different posts that we do onto our fan page and onto our personal page uh, to get these, these buyers in order to call us. Now, keep in mind, 
I want to I want to just underline or dog ear or whatever you want to call it. I want to underline that when we do this, we only drive all of our buyers straight to a phone call. So we are not driving people to a website or anything like that. We're just uh, driving straight to a phone call because what we're doing is we're building a phone number database. We're building a phone number uh, buyers list and we're segmenting that into specific areas or specific zones so that we can go out and sell the next property directly through a text message or a voicemail blast or whatever. That's why we're doing that. So we will uh, go out and do Facebook. We love Facebook. We love using Facebook. Then the other thing, which is probably one of the most ignored things that a real estate investor just won't do, is we will take a, a cell phone. We will take a cell phone, and what we'll do is we will go through the property. We'll start at the very, very you know, street of the property, and then what we'll do is we will video this property as the buyers are walking through this, meaning that you know, act like this, this phone right here is the buyer's eyes. So we will go, and we will have our phone. We will start at the street. We will start talking about the property, the deal itself, and all this other stuff. We'll walk into the front door. We'll show them around this specific deal. We'll show them around the deal, okay? And then what we'll do is we'll take that video, and it's got to be five minutes or less. We will take that video, and we will take the video, and we will put it directly on um, YouTube. Now, the reason that we put this video on YouTube is very simple is because we're looking to get the search engines out of this, okay? So we're looking to have YouTube pick this thing up, but we're also looking to have Google pick this thing up and put our title and the description and everything in there uh, to where it makes sense to the buyer, and then it attracts people to call the number from doing that YouTube video. Now, the other thing that we do, and I'm not going to get really, really deep into this. I'll, I'll do that on future System Saturday Lives, but... We're very, very active on Craigslist when it comes to selling our wholesale deals that we own, okay? So what we'll do is we will post 15 different ads, and we'll do, do this in five ad increments, meaning that if you have 15 ads and you're, you're posting five ads, that would mean three times a day. So we're posting our ads at 9 o'clock in the morning, noon, and then 5 Eastern State, or 5, 5 o'clock your time, Okay. So we will post the first five ads that we write, all driving straight to a phone call. And then when, and we'll do that in a nine o'clock. And then what we'll do at noon is we will take another five ads, giving us a total of 10 ads, and we will drive directly to a phone call on that. We will put that on Craigslist. And then we will do at five o'clock, we will do the same exact thing, but we will do the, the, the remaining five ads, giving us a total of 15 ads every single day that we're posting on, on Craigslist on these properties that we own. Okay, so these are uh, very, very cool because you have to understand the way that Craigslist works. When you post an ad on Craigslist, they're going to put it on Craigslist. And then everybody else is posting on Craigslist as well. So when everybody else is posting on Craigslist, your ad goes down, down, and down meaning that me, people will not start seeing your ad. And then that's why you're posting so many times at different times, so many ads at different times, so that you can be at the top of Craigslist while people are searching and whatnot. This is a very phenomenal system that we do. And I'll tell you, if you saw this in our office, it is absolute magic the way this thing happens. We will also go and we will do handwritten bandit signs. We'll place these a quarter uh, mile around the property. So we'll use messages like uh, must sell home, and then we'll use the same phone number that we're doing with all of the ads that we are doing, try to get people to call us. We will send an email to our buyers list. Obviously, when we own these properties, we'll send an email to our buyers list, and we'll explain to them what we have what we, uh, and what this deal is, and then we will drive it straight again to a, a phone number for these guys to call us, okay? So there's, those are the six different things that we do on every single wholesale deal that we own, okay? Now, here's what I'm going to do, okay? Here's what I'm going to do. That selling swipe file is pure gold. It is absolute pure gold. So for those that are on this live right now, when you share this live, what I'm going to do, all you got to do is click the share button, and then on Monday, what I'm going to do is I am going to send out that selling swipe file 
when you own your wholesale deals. I'm gonna send that out. All you gotta do is go out there and share this thing. And then I am going to uh, take all those people that shared this and I'm going to give them that selling swipe file, which is pure gold for you inside of your business. And we're gonna do that right on Monday. So what do you have? As, of we, re, uh, as we do this, you have two days. You have two days to share this thing with your people and let them know that you are sharing this because you are getting this awesome swipe file of properties, how to wholesale properties when you own these things. And then I'm going to send that to you and I'm going to send that to you directly in Messenger. Okay, I'm going to send that to you directly in Messenger. After those two days, it's gone. After those two days, it's gone. And I'm going to just write down, it is, uh, we're 25 minutes into this and I'm just going to dog ear that because there's going to be so many people that say, John, I shared it after the fact, please give it to me. And I'm going to say, no, you guys don't understand. This is gold that I'm giving you right now. This is what people pay $2,000 to get is that one swipe file. Now here, I was very, very careful on the way that I said this. Okay. So go out there and share this, go out there and share this. And then I'm going to give you that on Monday. Now, Again, I was very careful on the way that I was wording myself because there's two different ways to wholesale real estate legally, okay? There's two different ways to wholesale real estate legally. There's the assignment and then there's the double close. I'm giving you the selling swipe file if you own the property, okay? If you own the property. Now, if you do not own the property, let's say that you put a deal under contract, you put a deal under contract for whatever it is. You do not own the property, but you're going to go out there and start selling this property. You're going to go out there and sell this property. Well, you don't own the property. So you can't do the marketing that I just gave you if you don't own that property until you do own that property. So I'm talking about the assignment. Now, in the assignment, I also do have the selling swipe file for the assignment, but I'm not going to give that one to you yet. Okay, yet. Those systems, and I want you to under, understand this, those systems on the assignment, if you do not own the property, are completely different. They're completely different on what you can say in the marketing because you don't own that house. Remember, I'm showing you the right way, the legal way, which is the more profitable way to go out there and whole re wholesale real estate. That's why Jeff Watson and I were so passionate about getting people on the bus that want to wholesale the right way, the legal way, the more profitable way. So again, the swipe file that I'm giving you guys, that's if you own the property. And the way that you get that is you go out there and you share this live, okay? Now, to the other side of this, you cannot use that. You cannot use that selling swipe file if you do not own that property. So if you just have that property under contract, even if the seller says that you can market that property, you still cannot go out there and market the property like you own it. You cannot contract. You cannot go under contract with a seller and break the law, okay? You cannot go out there and put into the contract all of this stuff and breaking the law. That would be like me going out to you and saying, hey, I've got all this, I've got all these drugs. You sign this contract with me that you're willing to accept these drugs. It's still illegal. It doesn't matter. I can't go, you can't put me under contract and say, you'll buy all the drugs off me but at the same time and, and make that thing legal. It's, it's still wrong with the law, okay? So if you don't own that property, if you don't, if you don't own that property, you cannot use that. It, it's a totally, totally different system that you have to do, okay? It's a totally different system that you have to do on that assignment on the way that you have to market for your buyers. At the same time, we still use those six systems, okay? So we still write the property description, we just change it up quite a bit. We still do the Craigslist ads. We still do the Facebook. We still do YouTube. We still write the email to our buyers list. Um, we still do all of that stuff. But our message has to change very, very dramatically. Very dramatically. Okay? So you've got to do this business the right way. You got to do this business. You got to understand wholesaling. And see, this is what most investors don't do. They don't understand wholesaling. They don't understand the laws when it comes to wholesaling. They just don't understand it. They don't get it. See, when you get educated on wholesaling and really know it inside and out, well, now you can become very, very dangerous on the way that you wholesale. 
See, that's why, you know, we do north of 150 wholesale deals a year and why it's 80% of our business because it, it, it gives us cash flow. It, 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 it gives us higher profits than what we could even get if, on a lot of these as, as if we were rehabbing these things. That's why we like to wholesale a lot of our deals, but we understand it. We know it. We're, we're, we know how to, to go out there and wholesale. We get this stuff, okay? Now, who wants to learn wholesaling inside and out? If you want to learn wholesaling inside and out, comment below, okay? And to do this business the right way and the legal way. If you want to do this business the right way, the legal way, the more profitable way, go and comment below and let me know that this is you. You, you don't want to break the law. You want to do the, all of the great systems, okay? You want to do all the great systems for finding deals. You want to be a deal-finding expert. You want to find all these deals at, at crazy discounts. You want to do all that stuff. You want to understand the assignment. You want to you know, know the three different ways to assign and have all the proper contracts every single time that you do it. Okay. If you want to become a, a legal wholesaler, let me show you how to do this. Let me show you how to do this. See, we used to teach this stuff online. And then what we found out, and I'm talking we as in me and Jeff Watson, my attorney Jeff Watson, we used to teach all of the legal wholesaling systems online. And see, what we found out is that all of the gurus, they, they, they sit there and they get on these lives, they get on our webinars, they do all this stuff, and then they start changing their marketing up when a lot of them, bluntly, not all, but a lot of them are doing and teaching wrong and illegal, dangerous wholesaling systems, okay? So we don't do this online anymore at all for, for numerous different reasons, numerous different reasons. So if you want to go out there and if you want to be a legal, a certified wholesaler that your business is just rocking and rolling. You know wholesaling inside and out. You use Jeff Watson and I system to blow up a wholesaling business. You use all of our contracts. You understand the way to assign. And you can possibly even do this tax-free when you do this the right way. We're going to certify you. We're going to get into a room. And we're going to certify you to be a legal certified wholesaler. So here's what we're, and I'm even going to buy your flight. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to Vegas, April 13th through the 15th. Okay, so we're going to Vegas, April 13th through the 15th. And I'm even going to buy your flight to Vegas up until tomorrow, Sunday, January 28th. At the end of the day, I'm even going to buy your flight. After that, it's done. It's, it's over. We're not going to do that anymore. So we're going to sit into a room, a small room. And by the way, I, I just want to urge you guys that we already have 70% of this entire workshop, this whole entire certification workshop filled. So there's, we've only got 30% left. So we don't have that many, many uh, people that can get into this thing because most of the people have already jumped on. They want to be certified wholesalers in their area. They want to find deeply discounted wholesale deals and learn how to legally assign and double close these things and use all of our paperwork and just blow up their business and, and have, get all of our selling swipe files and everything else. So we don't have that many left, but here's, what, here's how you need, what you need to do. If you want to become a legal certified wholesaler into your area and blow up your 2018 and blow it up and do it the right way, the legal way, the more profitable way, call this number. And we're going to pin this number to up to the top. And it's actually above right now. Call 937-529-0125. So again, call 937-529-0125. And you can talk to us on how we can get you to be a local certified wholesaler right into your area. And we can teach you our system, Jeff Watson and I system, step by step by step. Okay. And again, I'm going to be buying your flight up to $500. And that is going to end tomorrow. I highly uh, suggest that you jump on this now. You're going to be going VIP with us. You're, we're going to be paying up to $500 for your flight. And you're going to walk out a certified legal wholesaler and know the entire system on how to wholesale because this is the best business, especially for this real estate market, especially for this real estate market. OK, so, again, the dates are, uh, are we're going to go to Vegas. We're going to be in a closed room. We call it the vault. And it's uh, from April 13th, 14th and 15th. 
and we're going to even buy your flight up until Sunday, up to $500 for your flight. So again, all you got to do is call the number, which you see it's 937-529-0125. 937-529-0125. And let me just disclose on this now. I understand that, you know, when, when people call in or whatnot, that the phone might be busy, might go to voicemail. Just leave a voicemail. Don't be that person that calls multiple times. We will call you back. We have plenty of people on the phone for this. However, if, if you need to leave a voicemail or whatever, we will get back to you. We will absolutely get back to you, and we will do it before that cutoff of those flights next um, or tomorrow at, uh, at the end of the day. So again, call us and we will be able to help you out with that. So we talked all about, what do we talk about today? We talked all about what wholesaling is. We talked about the two different ways to legally a wholesale deals, the assignment and the double close. Then what we talked about was the six different ways to, uh, to sell your wholesale deals. Okay, and if you own those things, and I took you through our selling swipe file, and if you own the, uh, the property, you can do this. If you do not own the property, you can do that. You can still do all six of those systems, but your message has to change very, very drastically so that you don't break the law uh, when you're going out there and doing this. If you go out there and if you share this video right now, you can go out there and get the, the done for you selling swipe file. Um, if you own the property, we're going to be doing, we're going to be explaining both of those and giving you both of those and giving you all the contracts and giving you all the assignment contracts and all the purchase and sale contracts and and everything, explaining all this stuff to you in Vegas, the 13th and the, through the 15th at that certification event. And you just got to do this business the right way. You got to do this business the legal way. It's very, very important that you do that. So the, other, the last thing that I want to leave you with is this, okay? The last thing that I want to do is, is I want to leave you with this. Take a look at where your business is at right now. And we started with this. Take a look at where your business is at right now. How did you do in January? Are you hitting your goals in January? If you want to do 20 plus wholesale deals this year, are you on track with that right now? You just have to evaluate yourself. You have to audit yourself on how many sellers you got. You've got to audit yourself on all of this stuff and where your business is at right now to get it to where you want to go. You need to audit yourself. Okay. I want you to absolutely crush it in 2018. I want you to crush it. I want you to dominate. I want you to con control this business. I want you to go out there and find the hidden deals in this market that is very, very you know, limited on the inventory that we have. I want you to do all that stuff, but I need you to audit yourself first and find out if you're on track to hit your goals. Okay? So guys, I will see you guys on next System Saturday. All you got to do is like this video. If you got value out of this, like this video. Comment below. Let me know what you thought of today's System Saturday, and I will see you on future System Saturdays. I'll see you guys. Hope to see you in Vegas, too. See ya.